we mentioned bringing the signal in, so we talked signal flow. So we've already we, we've we've poured the water all the way through the system already. Okay, so we've gone from the microphone to the cable down through the channel. We've shaped the sound of the of the uh, we've shaped the sound coming through the channel, and we have control of that sound at the fader. Okay. We've made the bridge between the channel and the output side by pushing down the mix button. Check, 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 check. check. And we know we have output control of the entire mix by the, by the yellow fader, which is the mix main output knob. So we've already gotten it through the system. So effectively, the water is the sound that's pouring out of the speakers. My voice is the, is the water at the beginning of the stage. It's pouring through the system, coming out the, out the uh, other end. There's a second place that we can look, and I think we can hear this. I'm going to turn the master down just so that we can hear this. I'm going to keep talking into the mic, and I'm going to show you this section here. This is the uh, what they call the aux section, or for, for our purposes, this is the monitor section. There are four different, these four guys here, the, the, the two kind of, I don't know what we'd call that, aqua kind of color, and then the, the blue color. Um, uh, you have one, two, three, and four. You have four different... Uh, mixes, we'll call them, in addition to what what happens uh, in the house through the through the master fader. So this master mix fader, I'm going to take that out again and just come back up here and show you that if I want this channel, if I want the sound that I'm generating in this channel to land at the stage, if I if I want the people that are at the stage to be able to hear that, the only way they're going to hear that well is through a through a set of monitors. And uh, we showed you one of the wedge monitors earlier. Um, we plugged in with one of the Neutrik type speak on connectors. This is this is what controls getting the sound to those monitors. So I'm gonna see if this is plugged in. The one we plugged in was four, and I just happen to know that. So I'm gonna turn this up. Check, 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 and you can sort of hear that. I'm turn this up. So that sound that we're hearing is not coming out of the main speakers. It's coming out of the out of the monitors. You think that can be heard up there? Yeah. Well enough. Okay. Um, Basically, if whoever is speaking on this microphone was on the stage and wanted to hear some of themselves, you would want to turn some of that, you want to pour, you're going to pour some of that signal into aux 4 or mix 4 if they're listening to monitor 4 on the stage. And the more that you turn this up, the more they will hear, and there will be a point at which they'll say, stop turning that up. So, um, uh, and basically that's, that's really what it comes down to. when. When they tell you they can hear sufficiently up on stage, you just stop turning it up. And that's, that has set their level for that specific channel, just that one channel. It set that level in a, into, into, their, uh, into their monitor mix. Now, there are four of them, so the different players on the stage can have as many as di four different blendings or mixes of, uh, of all the different inputs that are available. So this might be for the the lead singer uh, at the front center of the stage. This might be for a guitarist. This could be for a keyboard player. This could be for the drummer. Um, and that, um, that basically makes up the monitor mixes. I now, have a question on that. Go ahead. Or go ahead. And uh, so basically all these just go with where the person is standing and what monitor they're standing That's right. next to. That's right. Now, if, if, if everything is plugged in where it's supposed to be on the stage, each one of the monitors has a, has a piece of a labeling tape on it that will say one, two, three, or four. And that will let you know, and that will correspond, as long as it's plugged in correctly, it will, it will correspond to aux one, aux two, aux three, or aux four. 